Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Laster. I'm the Director of Integrated Fishing Systems here at Lowrance in Tulsa. And today I wanna to show you a little bit of, the, of some of the differences between the HDS Pro series of displays and the Elite FS series of displays that we offer. So we make three different families of fish finders in Lowrance. We have the um, Eagle series, which is our more entry level, sort of standalone, um, non-networking type displays. And then right here in the middle, we have our Elite FS family. So you'll find Elite FS in a seven inch, a nine inch, a 10 inch, and a 12 inch. So there's a screen size there. Um, you know, if you're looking for any one of those, you'll have an option. Um, so these sit kind of in the middle, and then a step up from Elite FS is our HDS Pro. So you'll find these in a little bit bigger. So there's a nine inch version here, so no seven like there is in the Elite FS. And then there's a 10, which is what I have here. There's also a 12 inch and a 16 inch. So you won't find that 16 inch in the Elite FS either. So that's a quick little way of knowing which one you're dealing with is which sort of screen sizes we offer it in. Um, but there's several other things that are different between the two families as well. So you'll notice on the front here on an Elite FS, you have this sort of simplified keypad, right? It's basically all the keys you need. It's a, pa a, a power key, your pages key, your waypoint key, your zoom keys, and you get one little um, programmable key here that you can make do a whole bunch of different functions. But if you look at an HDS, you actually have a full keypad, right? So you have other things like a full directional pad, menu key, an exit key, a, thing, a couple of things like that. On a 10 inch, you're gonna find two of those pre-programmable keys, um, but then on a 12 or 16, you'll find four. So that just gives you, you know, a few more options of ways you can set that up. Um, also on the front, you'll see you have an SD card slot over here under this little door. So there are two card slots. So if you've got to read a map card or, and then you want to put in another card for maybe another map or for recording sonar or something, you have two card slots there so you can flip between those. On an Elite FS, you'll only find one and it's actually underneath this Lowrance logo over here on this side. So you pull it up, you find one card slot there. So on the front, that's just a couple of the quick little um, differences. There's actually some more differences on the back. So if we flip them over, you'll actually notice quite a little a different setup in the connectors here. So I'll show you this HDS first. So here you have all of these different connectors on the back that do a lot of different things. So we'll start on this side with NEMA 2000. So this is gonna be how you're gonna plug in a, a NEMA 2000 backbone if you've got a 0.1 antenna or a ghost trolling motor, um, things like that. All of that will come in through NEMA 2000. Then we have two ethernet ports. So all screen sizes of HDS Pro have two ethernet. So that's these yellow ones here. So this is gonna be for plugging in things like an active target module, a radar, um, sharing map cards between multiple units if you've got several mounted on the boat. Um, so having two on here is, is makes it really simple for if you're gonna build a big complex network, right? If you're gonna daisy chain three, four displays together, having two ethernets is, is a, a really big benefit here. You're gonna have your power, um, obviously 12 volts, um, nothing super special there, so that's this red one. But what's really gonna separate an HDS apart from an Elite FS are these two sonar connectors back here. So you'll find one that's gonna be your traditional sonar and down scan, and then the other one will add um, traditional sonar down scan, and it will add side scan to that as well. Um, but what makes um, HDS Pro really special is both of these support our active imaging HD transducers. That's our really super high frequency, high resolution side scan and down scan, up to 1200 kilohertz. So you'll find that on both of these connectors back here, whether it's for side scan or for down scan. If you look at an Elite FS, you'll see it's much simpler back here, right? So we have just our power, and then we have just that same NEMA 2000. There's only one ethernet back here. So again, if you're gonna plug in a, an active target module into this, if you're gonna plug a radar into this that takes up your one ethernet connector here, right? So you have to add other options um, in order to, to build a bigger network than just plugging that straight in. And then you'll only find one sonar connector back here. And this does not support that high frequency um, 1200 kilohertz sonar. So this will be our regular active imaging. So this will be your 455, 800 still back here on this connector. Um, one of the things that is really cool though is this ethernet connector is the same here on, a, on an Elite FS as it is on an HDS. So that does mean that you can build a network mixing and matching displays. So if you wanna build a network and have the Elite FS be the end of your daisy chain, you can totally do that with this yellow connector back here that matches the same yellow connector on the back of an HDS Pro. Um, there are also a few little features in here in HDS Pro that you'll find that you won't find in Elite FS, um, specifically around things like controlling trolling motors. So our new anchor at a distance or orbit features or depth routing, those will be specific to HDS Pro where you won't find them in Elite FS. So hopefully that helps you uh, kind of understand some of the differences between these two families. If you need more info, just visit Lowrance.com.